Hi everybody, it is Friday, April 14th. Um, we had a great show last night with Lyle, the first of the three nights here in Dallas at the Majestic Theater. Uh, it was really fun. Um, we had um, Hayes, um, Hayes Carl was his name, uh, was the uh, opening act, and then he and his band, and then they sat in with us, or, he, or Hayes sat in with us for a couple of songs in Lyle's set. Um, and it was, it was really fun. Nice cat, nice band. The guys were all really great in it and we had a good hang with them. Um, and we're off to, uh, work pretty soon here again. So I'm going to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, still got a cough going. Um, going to do a little music for you now. And then I've got three cameos, uh, to send off. And then I'm going to head over cause, uh, we've got some, stuff we want to go over for tonight's show and uh it's really fun though it's good to be back with the guys again i really i miss playing with the guys and uh it's really such a treat uh, when we get to do these shows so here we go today i'm going to visit i found uh, another artist who i hadn't heard in a long time named pam thum t-h-u-m and uh, i found just a really brief biography on her um, and she was another one of the contemporary Christian artists that I'd worked with over the years. It says, the CCM singer-songwriter Pam Thum was born the only child of a pair of evangelists who spent her childhood traveling the globe in their small missionary team. She began composing songs at 16, eventually settling on a career in music in 1987. Uh, Tracy B. Lim recorded her We Are an Army, and its success led to her... Um, it helped her earn a, uh, her own recording contract. Her self-titled debut LP appeared in 1993, followed by Faithful Feel the Healing, which is the one I worked on in 1995. Um, and then she returned with Let It Be, I think in 2000, or Let There Be. Sorry, I'm distracted, been up, just, just got up a little while ago. Um, on this track, <clears throat> we did this, in, like I said, in 1995, and this is the track I'm going to play is called You're All I Know, and it's um, myself on bass, Tom Hemby on guitar, Cheryl Rogers on piano. Uh, the background vocals are Cheryl Rogers, Lori Whitesides, Michael Wilshire, and Mike Eldred. Uh, it was produced and arranged by Cliff Downs. Uh, engineered by Cliff Downs and Dave Dilbeck. Saxophone on this is Mark Duhit, and it was written by Austin Roberts, Cliff Downs, and Winston Sela. So I am going to um, play you a track here. It's really a beautiful production on this one. So this is called Feel the Healing, um, and You're All I Know. Come on. Hold on just a minute, I gotta reboot it. Oh, this is great. I was just playing it and it comes up with a thing here that says, your browser can't play this. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing here, hold on. Hold on. I may have to just do this video again. Here we go. All done. Go figure. You then lead me home 
just rediscovering so many tracks that you know did years ago and just have disappeared into the uh, the gray matter it's nice to resurrect them so um, I'm gonna do my cameos now and then get ready to uh, head over and uh, do some sound check and uh, and a show tonight and then one more tomorrow and then home on Sunday and then back in the studio and then off to Orlando on Wednesday for the Florida Film Festival with Danny Tedesco to do the uh, screening of the immediate family documentary at that festival. So, <coughs> excuse me. So um, th that's it. I'm wishing everybody a great day today. Have a, have a good one. Um, I can't add to that. Just be well, happy, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.